Both Ariane and Rain were thrown out of the floor, fallen unconscious. But when Rain regained consciousness, it was Ariane whom he seeked instantly. Seeing his beloved laying unconscious, he crawled to her, shaking her, waking her up. But with no response, Rain trembling in fear, carried her despite feeling weak, calling for help. Ariane was rushed to the hospital and the medics tried to resuscitate her and placed an oxygen mask on her to revive her. Meanwhile, Monique was there with the crowd, waiting and observing. She became tearful when she saw Ariane in the arms of Rain Martin, being carried out from the burning cafeteria, wounded and lifeless. Monique couldn't control her emotions any longer. She ran out to a quiet place, and there she broke out into tears, in silence. Monique felt a deep prick from her heart, and she couldn't understand why she was feeling this way. And as her recall of Ariane came into being, she felt so devastated of seeing her lifeless and bruised. She couldn't understand that feeling and the only thing that bothered her was, why does it seem like my heart is connected to hers? Seeing her in that pitiful condition, it was like I felt her pain and I want to get back at that person who started that explosion. I want to be angry. I'm so mad. Who in the world could have thought of hurting her that way? I must see her. I can't just stay here without knowing her condition. Monique came to look for Mr. Hendricks, wanting to know Ariane's condition. So Mr. Hendricks wondered that he asked, Are you sure it was Ariane whom you wanted to see Monique? He was doubtful, knowing she had this much fondness for Rain. You may not believe me, Mr. Hendricks, but all I wanted to know how Ariane is doing. I myself was also confused why. I suddenly felt soft for Ariane. It was like she was connected to my heart that I suddenly feel like I wanted to protect her. Mr. Hendricks stared at Monique, trying to probe deeper into her thoughts. He wondered, is she coming to her senses already, as far as I can remember? The old Monica was very protective of her little sister. Is this the Monica emerging now? Please sir, let me see her. I couldn't be at peace unless I see her fine and well, please. As soon as they arrive at the hospital, Monique and Mr. Hendricks happened on Rain sitting on the bench by the emergency room. He was so upset and tired but he didn't mind his own condition. He was patiently waiting for the doctor's announcement about Ariane. What are you doing here, Monique? Rainy snapped at her, thinking she might only cause trouble. Monique was offended and felt slighted by his comment, but she quickly got back to her senses and said, I'm aware you're not comfortable seeing me, but I came here for Ariane. I wanted to know if she's going to be all right. I mean well, Mr. Martin. Mr. Hendricks took Rain in a private conversation and told him what he realized about Monique. I think Monique is slowly getting back to her own senses, but she was not fully aware of it. Maybe having seen Ariane in a terrible state could have triggered her consciousness, but she was still confused. All she had was a sincere concern for Ariane. Please don't take away from her this emotion. It could help her in getting out from that darkness, her sense of protectiveness for her. Little sister was awakened, Rain. Give her that chance which might pave her way out from her lost memory. Is it really happening to her? Tom, we still need to observe her every move. Ariane will be happier if this happens. And I'm willing to give her that chance to be close with Ariane. I hope you are never mistaken. Tom, I don't want Ariane to get hurt. The ER doctor came out and announced that Ariane is already out of danger. You can see her now, but she's still asleep. Rain Martin rushed to see Ariane, and upon seeing her in a pathetic state, he kissed her affectionately. Then he sat by her bedside, held her hand gently and tightly, kissed it lovingly, then whispered, I'll never forgive those who hurt you, my love. This will be the last of their evil scheme. I'll see to it that you won't get hurt again, nor put you in danger. I will always protect you. Then the doctor spoke. 
The patient had incurred minor injuries and her bruises were visible, but it will soon heal. Miss Ariane can be released and all she needs is complete rest at home. I'll give her an ointment to help her bruised arms and legs get better. You can bring her home now, Mr. Morrison. I don't think that's a good idea, doctor. I want to be sure that she's doing well before she leaves this hospital. I don't want any complications. I just wanted to be sure, that's all. Well, in that case, she could stay for it. Another day under my observation. Ariane was awakened by the voices near her bedside and as soon as she opened her eyes, she saw Rain Martin standing by her bedside and when she glanced further, she saw Monique and Mr. Hendricks. With a beating heart and fast pace, she sat down and smiled as Monique came closer. She couldn't believe her eyes and then wondered, why on earth was Monique in front of her? I came because I am so concerned about you, Ariane. How are you feeling now? Do you feel any pain? Please tell me. Ariane couldn't believe what she's hearing. Those were exact words of her sister Monica. Every time she heard herself from stumbling or falling down whenever she slipped from running or walking recklessly, she was almost in tears. Monique went closer then suddenly she hugged Ariane tightly while Ariane wept. I couldn't believe this. Was I dreaming? No, you're not, Ariane. I became so upset and tensed when I saw you lifeless when Mr. Martin carried you out from that burning building. It was like a part of me was dying, which I couldn't understand why. All I felt at that time was hurt and anger for having put you in such a tragic situation. I felt like I want to protect you. I'm confused, but I'm all right. I'm glad nothing serious happened to you. Will this be a start of Monique's journey in coming out from her darkness? Part 47 follows. If you enjoyed the episode, please like, comment, and share. This inspires me to continue the journey of my characters to thrive on. Don't miss the coming episodes and thank you so much for your encouraging support. See you again in the next chapter on my YouTube and TikTok channels.